Rob Mehta joining us now with uh, more on uh, what's coming down from the sky, not so much what's coming up from, from the ocean right now. Yeah, we're, we're seeing some interesting changes out there on the coast with the king tides obviously ongoing and a high surf advisory, which kicked in today. We'll see that ongoing into Monday. Short term, some decreasing showers for tonight, but more rains ahead. In fact, you may be surprised by some of the numbers coming up in the 10 day outlook, which we'll have for you coming up in just two minutes. Let's recap some of the rain we saw in just the last 24 hours. This is a very uh, good producing storm. We had a bit of an atmospheric river, so higher than average moisture content. That's what helped power up some of the the bigger rain totals for areas north of San Francisco, especially but San Francisco to Oakland, about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain. Mount Tam, by the way, picked up more than two inches of rain. And as you head south into the Santa Cruz Mountains and Half Moon Bay, almost an inch of rain. Right now, San Jose, a bit more quiet, not as much rain in the Santa Clara Valley, closer to a quarter inch of rain around the airport, currently about 52 degrees. Similar temperatures out towards the Tri Valley, Livermore, some downpours at times this afternoon, currently at 50. 50 also in Walnut Creek and fog free for now. Similar conditions into San Francisco. Not much wind with some overcast skies and 50 degrees. Storm Ranger right now not showing a whole lot as the main rain band has pushed off to the east, but in behind it, might see an isolated shower or two. Look closely here to the south and east of San Jose around the Coyote Valley near Morgan Hill might see a few sprinkles at times. Patchy fog might be a bit of a concern for some areas that where the winds lighten up after the recent rain, but that's really the only concern for the morning would be the patchy fog and as you're about to see the high surf out on the coast. So mostly 40s to start the morning as the skies clear. It's going to be a cool afternoon of highs mostly in the mid to upper 50s. So high surf at times. Look at the wave heights right now offshore. 11 to 14 feet breakers to 25 feet during the day tomorrow that continues to about seven o'clock but through midday tuesday these king tides uh, these higher than average high tides which happen this time of year that's going to be an ongoing situation in addition to the high surf so the two combining could lead to some localized coastal flooding watch out for that through midday tuesday next round of rain could be as early as tuesday around mendocino county but for the bay area looks like wednesday into thursday this is the timing it looks like wednesday night into about about 4 a.m. Thursday should be the next main event, and that may have some wind with it, but that, that thing does clear out pretty quickly. Once you get into Thursday afternoon and Friday, skies clear, should stay dry for the beginning of next weekend. Then things change with another storm coming in, and that's what's really powering up these 10 day rain totals. We haven't seen a map like this in a while, whereas parts of the North Coast, the long range projection is about two to maybe four or five inches of rain. If that can verify, that would go a long way to shutting down this never ending fire season. So that's how things are trending now in the 10 day forecast. But for the next seven days, main events probably Wednesday into Thursday with the wind and some rain at times, mostly Wednesday night into Thursday. And it looks like, as you can see there, next weekend starts off dry. But by this time next weekend, more typical of December, more rain should be making a comeback. So finally, some good news. Coming from the weather department, more rain, more Sierra snow too, with that winter storm warning still ongoing there as well as we wrap up the weekend. All right, Rob, thanks very much.